Recent reports show tech giants like Microsoft, Amazon and Google are heavily investing in vast data centers. The trend is driven by the push for more powerful AI models, which require incredible amounts of processing power, perpetually available online. On the flip side, let's consider an alternative. What if future AI models could run efficiently on local devices like our smartphones? This isn't far-fetched. Hello everyone and welcome back to Procurement in the Park. I'm Christian Shu, and today we are venturing into the evolving dynamics of artificial intelligence and its substantial implications on our energy systems and personal computing habits. In the rapidly advancing field of artificial intelligence, the scales of investment and infrastructure development are reaching new heights. This year alone, tech giants like Alphabet, Amazon and Microsoft have allocated a colossal $40 billion toward enhancing data center capabilities. These investments are not just monumental, they mirror the capital intensity of other sectors like oil and energy, highlighting a significant shift toward high demand computing resources. Microsoft, in collaboration with Brookfield, a leading infrastructure investor, has embarked on an ambitious project to erect 10.5 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity across Europe and America by 2030. Their goal is audacious yet clear, to achieve 100% reliance on zero carbon energy sources within this decade. While this commitment is commendable, it also underscores the escalating energy demands of modern AI technologies. The requirement for energy is not just about quantity, but also about constant availability. Recently, tech giants have sparked a new trend in energy sourcing dedicated nuclear power plants. This move, exemplified by Microsoft's dealings with Constellion Energy and Amazon Web Services' acquisition of a nuclear power data center in Pennsylvania, marks a pivotal moment in tech's quest for uninterrupted power supply. The constant energy flow that nuclear plants can provide is crucial especially as data centers consume power at steady, unyielding rates. This surge in power demand is largely driven by AI's insatiable appetite for electricity. Industry forecasts suggest that by 2030, data centers could consume up to 7.5% of all power in the US, a stark increase that demands innovative solutions. Consider how we use ChatGPT today. Whether on a seven-year-old iPad or on a brand new MacBook Pro, the performance remains consistent because the heavy lifting happens far away in colossal server farms. Yet the question remains, is centralizing AI processes in such energy-intensive facilities the only way forward? Consider the alternative, optimizing AI to run locally on consumer devices like smartphones and tablets. This approach isn't just theoretical, with chip makers like Apple and Qualcomm making annual performance gains of up to 20%. The feasibility of running optimized AI models directly on personal devices is becoming a tangible reality. This transition could empower users by enhancing privacy, reducing latency and alleviating the burden on central servers. The benefits of localized AI processing are manifold. For consumers, it means greater control over their data, as sensitive information doesn't need to travel the internet to remote servers. It also ensures that the performance of AI applications is less contingent on network traffic, offering smoother, more reliable user experience. Moreover, local processing could significantly reduce the environmental impact associated with massive, power-hungry data centers. If AI can operate efficiently on less energy-intensive devices, we could mitigate some of the growing pressures on our global energy systems. Pressures 
that are currently being answered with solutions like dedicated nuclear power plants. Recently, at I.O. 2024, Google announced significant advancements in local AI processing capabilities. The next generation Google Assistant can now run sophisticated AI models directly on smartphones, eliminating the need for constant cloud connectivity. By reducing the size of the language and speech recognition models from 100 GB to less than 0.5 GB, Google has enabled these processes to run on device, resulting in faster responses and reduced latency. We're harnessing on-device AI to unlock new experiences that work as fast as you do while keeping your sensitive data private. Also, from my discussions with industry insiders and online rumors, it seems Apple is gearing up to unveil innovations at the upcoming Worldwide Developers Conference that may emphasize this local processing approach. So as we ponder these developments, we must engage in a critical dialogue about the direction of our technological evolution. Are we prepared to centralize our digital intelligence in facilities that may require their own nuclear reactors? Or do we advocate for a future where AI is as ubiquitous and individually accessible as the smartphone in your pocket? Thank you for joining me in this discussion. As we continue to explore these issues, your thoughts and perspectives are invaluable. Stay tuned for more episodes as we dive deeper into the intersection of technology, energy and sustainability. I'm Christian Schuh and this has been Procurement in the Park.